Hello everyone. Um, today I have my seed, sun, and spawn Kietsu <laughs> with me. Uh, we're, we're gonna be going over Minato versus the Five Kage. Kietsu does a lot of um TikTok crap. Um, his page sucks. I wouldn't follow it if I was you, but I will, you know, leave it linked if you want to look him up. But you can introduce yourself if you want to. Yo, um, I'm seven. This is father. Um. I do shit on TikTok, and you can follow me if you want, but yeah. Anyway, so going over Minato versus the Five Kage, there's a few things I want to mention before we get right into it. We're going to go over multiple forms of Minato, um, from his joining days, Kage, all the way up to when he's in Edo, and like KCM. We might briefly mention Sage Mode, but kind of like, Sage Mode is kind of like weaker than KCM, a little bit stronger than base, so... Or not a little bit stronger, a lot stronger than base, but still weaker than KCM. So you probably get your answer from the KCM section of the video. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna break it down, kind of gauntlet style. But then we'll like talk about it if they were to jump Minato, if he could actually survive. But I'm pretty sure one on one, he should be able to take most of them out. Now I don't, I don't know as far as Joni Minato. We'll see, like as the conversation progresses. But I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I know you said you wanted to bring up some game stuff. I don't know about the game shit. Uh, yeah, so Joni Minato is like the version of Minato we arguably see the most, right? Um, we get the introduction of Minato, like Joni Minato at least, definitive, uh, definitively in uh, Kakashi Gaiden, which takes place during the Third War. Um, Minato is actually hailed to be the hero of this war just by absolutely destroying people left and right. Like, especially the Stone Village, like they had it the worst. Flee on um, site. It was so bad. Yeah, it was so bad. It got to the point where like Minato was given um an order to flee on site as soon as somebody acknowledged his presence. Um, to get into the actual like scaling of Joni Minato, um, me and Six talked about this. Wait, hold on. Yeah, before before you move off it. that, before you move that, that the first person we see Minato encounter in uh, Kakashi Gaiden is someone who ignored the run on site order, and he yeah. died. So yeah. <laughs> that's why it's there. Yeah. Yeah, he got absolutely fucking real. Like, Minato drops his book bag and his shits on him right after. Yeah. Um, yeah, so get into this game shit. Basically, um, in this game, right, Arto Storm Generations, there's an interview which states that some of the story content would be considered canon. Um, statement actually claims additional anime content, which would just mean that the game is canon to the anime. But for the sake of a potential argument, we just use it for now, I guess. Yeah, um, so basically I mean, I'm pretty game, sure like the majority of the people watching came to Naruto through watching the anime. Like not yeah. everyone is like power scaler debater men like yeah, we are. Yeah. So yeah, um, so basically in the game, there's like this flashback scene that kind of implies that Minato and Jiraiya had a sparring bout. And Minato ended up winning actually. Um, you could argue that Jiraiya was holding back in this fight, like seeing as he's a sensei and whatever, but. We know that Naruto emphasizes on the point that Jiraiya doesn't really hold back when he's training, and he's like super tough on Naruto and shit. Um, after this, Minato actually fights against Hiruzen, and he also wins this fight. So this is like an easy way to um, argue that Joni Minato is already above the current. I mean, yeah, the current five Kage in place at that time. It's kind of like a ratty argument, but yeah. I mean, it it it's kind of ready but not really so like like he mentioned earlier it's kind of canon to like anime specifically so if you're going with the anime there's really no flaw in using this line of thinking mm -hmm. the the thing with it would be that the hokage is supposed to be like the top of everything right the top of konoha is the top of everything that's what it says in the fan book anyway kabuto sort of reiterates this where he says like here's got this reputation of being the strongest um, and then even just throughout history, you can see repeatedly over and over again, the Hokage is the strongest of the five like principal territories, like Hashirama, yeah. obviously the strongest. Tsunade, like you can argue Raikage is faster than Tsunade, but Madara just says Tsunade punches harder. So, you know, Tsunade be the strongest. Um, Naruto, obviously, Naruto says he's the strongest. And if you watch the Boruto anime, Naruto actually mentioned recently that after losing Kurama, with it being hard for him to fight the way he used to, he might actually lose his reputation as the Hokage, which could imply that he's weaker than the other ones, but it's more like an I don't know thing that they're that they're getting at there. Not saying that Naruto yeah. actually is weaker than any of the other four Kage in Boruto, but that that's that's way off topic. Um 
we do see Minato have an encounter with at least one of the five Kage here, that being A. Now, you can very easily argue that A has gotten stronger since his encounter with Minato, the first one. Um, especially if you use like a few data book statements um, saying that, well, he's trained in his free time and Raikage has got a lot of free time. He doesn't really do anything. It's also yeah. stated that um, Raikage is like looking for new ninjutsu because of the threat of the Akatsuki. After Hiruzen died, he kind of got, he, he, he wouldn't say it because, you know, A is like a muscle head, but he kind of got spooked at Orochimaru. And that's when he started training for new, new, uh, new ninjutsu. Anoki calls him out on that. So yeah, so yeah. like you could say Jonin Minato is maybe faster than the Jonin Raikage, but then when you get into the data books and it says that the Raikage is kind of on par with the Yellow Flash, which you can argue is Jonin Minato, um, but not Hokage Minato. You just kind of get to a place where the Raikage and Minato are like relative, and then Minato's got four other opponents. Now. Mm -hmm. Even if the Raikage is as fast as him, I guess you could say it doesn't mean he would take Minato down because Minato still has a flying Raijin on top of being as fast as the Raikage. But I think it's kind of fair to say that, um, you know, over the course of 16 years, 16 or more years, actually, that the Raikage would um, probably be able to beat up this form of Minato. Yeah. Um, But I'm pretty sure we can... We can move on from there and just get right into Hokage Minato. So Hokage Minato, the only fight we see him take place in when he's alive anyway, is with Obito. He's got a yeah. few fights in, in base while he's in Edo, but that, that's whatever. Um, yeah, and he, um, there's sort of like some implications for Minato being the strongest in terms of like actual scaling. Um, we have to look at the, uh, the Obito fight. Um, there's one thing that a lot of people will use to try to downplay Minato, and that's his statement where he says that Obito's like calmly surpasses his and the uh, second Hokage's teleportation technique with the flying Raijin. Um, the problem with this is that Minato is probably talking about how the technique works. Thing is like Obito is able to pass through things while teleporting, or it'd be like he doesn't have to directly travel to a marking; he could just teleport wherever. Um, Obito even gives praise to Minato's speed before, like um, before they. Um, initial like Rasengan who can touch each other first class or whatever um so yeah that would just be one thing to note this can also just be self critique seeing as Minato's flying Raijin is stated to be perfect Toby Rama blatantly states that like Minato is better at using flying uh Thunder God yeah there's also these a few statements in the data book that say uh, in the fight Minato actually overwhelmed Obito and now that might seem a little bit redundant to mention because Especially if you watch the anime, Minato destroys Obito a lot harder than he does in the manga, or at least it looks a lot cooler. And, you know, since Minato is overwhelming Obito in a in an arguably fatigued state because he's using these he's used FTG at this point, I think seven times, plus the whole like flying Raijin, like cracking space barrier that he used to block the Nine Tails Biju Bomb, which he also used to he like output the biju bomb as well like he didn't just teleport it away yeah he moved it yeah i mean like arguably in a fatigue state because we know space time ninjutsu can fatigue you right they use a lot of yeah. chakra like the summoning jutsu or um like sasuke says searching kagu's dimension use a lot of chakra yeah uh, i mean it's also just states that like teleporting something large would just drain his chakra yeah and yeah, and then and then he does that. He teleports away the large ass nine tails. Yeah. Still got enough chakra to use the flaw Reaper Death Seal, split it in half. Another thing you can mention for like Obito is that Obito's being amped by Guru Guru or um Toby Zetsu. Toby Zetsu amp is like no joke. Like he amps Yamato to the point where he can create a wood statue that contends against the five Kage and Hirzen. So like that just be another thing you can mention for um Obito in this case. Yeah. Um, if anyone's wondering why you would say that, it's because when Minato slams the Rasengan onto Obito's back and his arm falls off, if you look look at it again, it's actually the wrong arm that falls off for it to be Obito's Zetsu arm. So you could say he maybe has on like a few extra Zetsu cells or whatever to um yeah. amp himself because he is about to go up against Minato after all. He's got to control the Nine Tails, uh, things like that. 
But I mean, I guess we can get into like talking about the Five Kage a bit. We've already talked about the Raikage, but I guess something I didn't mention is that the Raikage probably has more chakra than Minito, even if he is a little bit slower or whatever, because it is stated by a few people and even a, a little bit in the weekly extras that the Raikage has Biju levels of chakra. Yeah. Now, that's kind of a vague term. I don't we don't really know if all the Biju have the same amount of chakra reserves. But in context to at least the Karin statement, it should be referring to the Eight Tails because the Eight Tails at this point in the series is the only Biju Karin has seen. Yeah. Um. Then I guess the next one would just be we can just go over Tsunade because so, one more thing about the Raikage, really oh, quick. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Is that um the data book statement where it says that the Raikage is an inferior to um Minato. The Raikage that the data book is referring to should just be weaker. Um, seeing as the Raikage loses an arm, and I'll explain why this matters. Um, the Raikage loses an arm, therefore, like, he can't amp his entire body to the um, extent that he used to be able to. Um, like, during the, the Sasuke fight in the Five Kage Summit. Like, basically, um, Chakra is constructed off of the cells in a person's body. Like, somebody losing a body part just decrease it, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's like if the chakra is derived from the cells, losing cells would therefore mean losing chakra. Um, yeah. You could apply this argument to a few different people. Like when Datera says he's weaker than Saucery, it's after he's missing one of his arms to say like Datera is weaker. He's also like fought Gara before that bunch of shit. That's not really too relevant to the topic at hand. Just saying like this is a consistent thing throughout most of the series. Yeah. But yeah, the Raikage, even with that, like I said, this should just be this statement should just be referring to Joni Minato. Um, mm -hmm. We, I guess we didn't specify earlier which five Kage we were using, but yeah. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll just give the Raikage a second arm anyway, because the Raikage <laughs> does say, and this differs from translation to translation, but they all say vaguely the same thing, which is that the Raikage didn't think Minato could ever be surpassed. Which would just yeah. be in line with the interpretation of Yellow Flash in the data book be referring to Joni Minito. So yeah, I mean, there's just a way you could look at that. There's also the whole thing of like Naruto and KCM speed blitzing the Raikage. It's supposed to be reminiscent of when Minato did the same thing to say like, oh, yeah. well. And then obviously later when KCM 2 Naruto is compared to Minato by Kakashi to say, well, oh, well, it's probably saying just Joni Minato. Yeah, this should this should also just be consistent because like after Minato dies, we then see Raikage call Minato fourth Hokage um during the, the Naruto and Raikage fight. So yeah. Yeah. Um if anyone has any problem with the whole Kakashi calling Naruto sensei thing, to make make this a bit more consistent, you could say that Kakashi or not Kakashi, but Minato is sort of a benchmark for Naruto throughout the entire series. And this is Naruto's last time being compared to Minato in a way that's like on equal footing or a lesser, which I think this one is just on equal footing anyway. Yeah. But so because the next time Minato is mentioned in comparison to Naruto, it's after Naruto gets a bit stronger. He gets a bit more mastery over KCM2 and Kurama just says that Naruto uh, or sorry, Minato and Kushina pale in comparison to Naruto at this point in time. So yeah. Yeah, th that was the la that was that was supposed to be the last time that we see Minato be compared to Naruto in 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 a way like that. But to talk about the other five Kage, I guess we can go over Tsunade first, and then mm. get into some of the other ones because I know people have sort of an issue with the whole like where Anoki, Raikage, and Tsunade all scale to each other in terms of like the five Kage ranking. Yeah. Some people think Anoki is the strongest because of like moderate statements. Some people think the Raikage is like could beat everyone even though Tsunade punches harder. Um, That stuff's not really too relevant. We just want to talk about how they really work together as a team. So Anoki is here and we know that Anoki and the Raikage um, sort of fight well together because the Anoki can lighten the Raikage and make him move a lot faster than he used to. Now this speed boost is sort of unquantifiable. Like even after 
Raikage gets it. It's not like he's like speed blitzing Madara or anything. We just know that he's a lot faster. Yeah. So it's a bit hard to say if at that point Minato would be fast enough to um keep reacting to them, things like that. Uh, do you want to before we cover the other Kage? Actually, do you want to talk about like the the whole Eighth Gate guy feat? So basically, the whole thing with like um teleportation feat for Minato. Teleportation doesn't really equate to speed. Um, seeing as like a formula can't really be applicable to it. Um, but basically what Minato, Minato's teleportation is actually different in a sense because he actually has to react and then teleport into a marking, right? So like whenever um, the kunai gets thrown uh, to intercept 8th gate guy in Jubidara, we see um, Minato turn around and like tank the true seeker orbs and then teleport back. But, like some people might argue that like Minato's reaction speed is better or like on par with Jubidara's or something like that. But, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, the the real like feat there, the real feat there is for Lee, the Lee who could actually like throw the kunai and oh, intercept yeah. the, the, the fucking true secret orbs and guy. Now you can argue guy is moving slower since he's in the air. He's not really having like footholds to place down like when he was on the ground. When guy's on the ground, he's actually just like a lot faster than Madara. But when he's in the air, Madara is able to react to him yeah. fairly easily. Like he starts running around in circles like the flash or something like that bro yeah so then whenever minato actually cuts in the middle of them he turns around and teleports away that's all just reaction speed um yeah. the speed of the true seeker orbs is a bit inconsistent like they just have a lot of weird feats that uh it's hard it's hard to get like a real gauge on them but i guess you could say that since madara was trying to kill guy here because guy was like the only serious threat to his life uh Madara even said like he would like to avoid getting hit by guy's actual fist because obviously yeah. it would hurt that he might have been throwing the orbs as fast as possible if that's the case i don't really think we could say that the raikage and adoki are gonna scale this high i mean like it is pretty consistent that the later we're getting into Naruto, the stronger and stronger and better the feats for these characters are getting. So um, I don't think we could scale it there. So you could say like maybe uh, Minato would be able to react to them with uh, with that line of thinking. Yeah. But yeah, getting into some of the other Kage, I'm sure no one cares about Mei much, but I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about her anyway. Um, yeah. Actually, no, I'll just let you talk about Mei because there's, there's just no point. There's just no point. Yeah. <laughs> There's, there's really nothing to talk about here. Like, Mei, she just sucks, bro. Like, she, she'll absolutely get mauled in this fight. Um, She's obviously the weakest one here. This is shown and, like, um, implied throughout the Madara fight and the five Kage fight, right? Mei, Mei doesn't really do anything. She just sits there and, like, just throws Jutsu around it while getting absolutely destroyed. Um, You could argue that she's able, like, to somewhat keep up with a V2, V1 Raikage in terms of her reaction speed and her jutsu, right? Um, we see that after the Raikage punches Madara, Mary has her jutsu set and plan to, like, catch Madara from the back. Um, I don't know, though, because, like, it is stated that she's able to, like, shape her jutsu to, the, to her discretion to a certain extent. Uh, and depending on how accurate she is, she can actually make her jutsu faster. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't even know if we can scale this to that V1 Raikage, bro, because she just asked. Yeah, so... The, it's, it's also super implicative that Mei is the weakest link here. Whenever we cut to the whole Susano fight, the fight between the 25 Susano and the, the 5 Kage, we get to see how each Kage is dealing with the Susanos. So we see the right Kage is like picking them up, throwing them. We see Tsunade is like body slimming them. Anoki's obviously got like his particle style. Gara's blocking their hits. Although Gara does get overpowered, I will mention that. Gara's getting over, they're all getting overpowered, but um, you know, some are doing better than others. Gara's blocking the hits with his sand. But then we cut to Mei. Mei fails at like melting one of their arms and then it just punches her anyway. So yeah. I mean it's just it's just very implicative that Mei is the weakest link. And then after that, uh it would be Gara. Now, even if you don't think Gara is the weakest link, Minato is blatantly shown faster than Gara in his Edo state, while he only has one arm. So, whenever Madara is telling Obito to come to him, 
obviously Kakashi, Minato, and Gara, they're like, oh, we can't let this happen. So Gara does his sand wave. Kakashi starts up his Kamui. And Minato's answer to this whole thing is to do a kunai and then sage mode uh, Rasengan Madara. So Minato actually throws his kunai after Kakashi activates Kamui and after Gara does his sand wave. But his kunai gets to Madara before the sand wave comes up. So you can say that Minato is faster than Gara's sand, which Gara's ultimate defense, he's kind of just getting rocked after that. Then we have Tsunade. Tsunade is like, you know, around Sanin level. The thing about Tsunade with her 100 healings is we don't actually know if it speeds her up or not. And if that's the case, I mean, I'm sure no one has an issue with Minato just being faster than Jiraiya. Now, if you use the games like we mentioned earlier, Minato is just blatantly faster than Jiraiya. Like he does beat him. Um, Jiraiya in the manga says everyone pales in comparison to Minato. Yeah. That would include Tsunade. So, you know, it, it's just like Minato. And I say this about Minato and Itachi all the time. They're sort of like the above signing level guys that, that we get introduced yeah. to. Like the, these just crazy prodigies. Um, and Inoki um, is the one who put the flea on site order for Minato. So, yeah. Um, one thing I hear a lot of people say for Tsunade to try to like upscale her and get her near like Onoki definitively in, in the Raikage, um, is that statement where it says that, um, Sonin's power is comparable to that of the five Kage. Now, this could either mean that each Sonin individually are as strong as that of the five Kage, or that the Sonin together are as strong as that of the five Kage. Um, the answer that I think is the most probable, and I'm sure Six agrees on this too, would be the second option. Mm -hmm. Seeing as Orochimaru and Jirai are kind of like implied to be as strong as Hiruzen, um, Orochimaru in his fight is able to contend against Hiruzen actually. Hiruzen is stated by Kabuto to be the strongest in the five nations even at his old age. Um, this is the reason reiterated why I think, in the fan books as well. Yeah. The reason why I think it has to be referring to all of them together is because Tsunade. Later on in the three-way deadlock, Tsunade is just incapable of reacting to Orochimaru and Orochimaru just has no problem dodging her. Like twice before the fight even starts um despite him being in a sickened and weakened state and not being able to like use his arms or ninjutsu she does land a hit on him but she's only able to do so after she pulls orochimaru's tongue towards her um orochimaru being above tsunade should also be consistent seeing as tsunade shows relativity to kabuto who orochimaru states is incapable of killing him uh you could argue that kabuto is like being amped by like that ration pill he takes uh, but before that he's even like shown to be able to react to tsunade as well like at the same speed as Orochimaru too. Second option should also be correct based off of the Warwick implications. That Tsunade is like stated to be slower than the Raikage, but her striking power is better. Which really, like, it wouldn't matter in this fight, I don't think. Yeah, no. But I mean, I'm sure from all of that, you can kind of gather that we think base Minato is enough to kind of handle the five Kage. Another thing to mention about this is that Minato, if he gets a seal on any of these guys, that specific person is just dead. Um, yeah, they're like they're over with. I'm pretty sure this is like mentioned in the data book as well. Like if you if Minato gets a seal on you, it's like over for you. But yeah, yeah. so th and then from there, I'm sure you can gather Sage Mode Minato and KCM Minato would also beat up the five Kage. Uh, speaking of Sage Mode Minato. Basically, a lot of people will consider Minato entering Sage Mode like to be a plot hole, seeing as Minato enters Sage Mode almost instantly, despite directly stating himself that he isn't good at it, and Kakashi implies it as well. Um, Minato saying he's bad at Sage Mode. What I think this should like be referring to is like Minato's character. He's kind of shown to be like the humble type, so this can just be seen as like self critique. Uh, critique. Um, you could also see this throughout his like mannerisms alone. And we know it's even consistent throughout the, like, the non-canonical continuities like the Storm game series. Like, I'm pretty sure after Edo Minato uses a jutsu in Naruto Storm 4, he's like, oh, it's nothing really after casually shitting on his opponent. Like, yeah. <laughs> in regards to his Sage mode, he can literally be bad to Minato, but extraordinary in the eyes of others. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm sure, like, someone would bring up to that the whole Kakashi statement of, oh, Master, I, I, you know, I thought Senjutsu wasn't your forte. I mean, that's yeah. literally because Minato told him. So the, the yeah. previous argument would still apply. So if we get into like Sage Mode Minato's like actual scaling. Now, th this might, this is going to sound weird. Minato does like tank a kick from Juvie Madara. 
Yeah. Like moderate, moderate kicks him in his chest, and it's not like Mito has no damage. He obviously like screams out in pain whenever he hits Gara. He flies back and all that. He doesn't like fucking no sell it like a Dragon Ball character or some shit. <laughs> but he does take it without having his like Edo body ripped apart. So that's like a pretty good durability feat for him. And I don't think anyone is gonna argue that someone in the Five Kage hits as hard as fucking Jumi yeah. Madara. We do. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Minato actually, because he's so fast and he doesn't get hit often, he doesn't have any durability anti-feats. The only thing he gets hit by is Madara and Truth Seeker orbs, which like kind of neg Edo durability anyway. And he gets punched in the stomach by Naruto, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, well, that that was like a, a little clone in it. No, <laughs> I, I hate you, bro. Anyway, um, and then from there, like, Casey and Minato, this is just where it gets horrible. I mean, it's like, bro. Yeah, like it was already bad, but like, this is just. No, let me let me let me just make let me just make this terrible. So, the five Kage, right? When when they're talking to each other, they're all like, "Oh, well, to deal with seven Biju, bro, we're gonna need an alliance. We just we have no way of dealing with seven Biju." And then Casey and Naruto comes in. Casey and two Naruto comes in slapping away biju bombs from five biju and he's beating them all up so kcm2 naruto this is like the first stage of kcm2 naruto yeah like he, he is just get, over he the five just kage getting the mode. Yeah. he is stronger than the five kage then he gets stronger after that and is stronger again when neji dies and then he when minato comes minato is actually shown to be like on par with biju sage mode naruto's karama avatar so yeah. you can say, well, not not in AP, but in speed at least. So you can say that Minato's uh, Minato is just destroying the five Kage when it comes to KCM two. It's like Biju bomb, tail swipe, uh, you know, whatever. And and now we're gonna talk about Baryama mode Minato. No, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, actually, I, no, that actually might be a thing. Yeah, it, it might be, but we'll just we'll never hear about it. Um, yeah. don't, please don't bring that up like <laughs> in any comments anywhere, but, um, I, I think we're good to end it here. Uh, if you yeah. don't feel like we gave the five Kage a fair shot, um, I, I mean, I think we did, but you could comment any of your disagreements and I'll, I'll try to respond to them. I'll try to make Kiesu respond to them as well, but he's a little loser, so he might not. Okay. Um, check out his uh, his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but other than that, have a nice day.